Hello everyone, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Today's topic may be uncomfortable, but I will provide you some tips on how to get away from a narcissist. Those who are doing well in their narcissistic relationships generally don't feel motivated to make any changes. It's possible that some people stayed with a narcissist for a long time due to family circumstances such as children or economic situations. I want to make it clear that I will not be making any judgments. My goal is to inform you about how narcissists operate so that you can decide what is best for you. Keep in mind that narcissism has a spectrum and everyone has a different tolerance for pain. Even tolerable narcissists can be manipulative and deceitful. Although being in a relationship with a narcissist is never a good idea, some people can keep their emotions in check long enough to stay with one because they feel like they have no choice. These people understand the narcissist's true nature so they know how to deal with it. Since they are aware that the narcissist can't love them, their relationship is more formal and cold. People have various reasons for their actions, so it's not our primary focus today. Because this video is for those who have had enough with the narcissist and want to leave but don't know how to do it. Nowadays, narcissists are everywhere, which makes it challenging to avoid them. They can be more than just casual friends or family members. They can be found in local government, churches, workplaces, and schools. However, just because we can't avoid them entirely doesn't mean we have to put up with their behavior. Narcissists actively seek opportunities to deceive and lie, especially when they know we recognize their behavior. We can't treat them normally. Even if they are funny and friendly, we can still get dragged back into their toxic behavior and convince ourselves that they are not so bad. Narcissists have a way of making you feel comfortable and getting you to open up to them again, which increases the chances of you spending more time with them. They are skilled at saying and doing things that make you fall for them all over again. However, the key to dealing with narcissists is consistency. If you engage with them, they will take what you give them and run with it. So, if you find yourself in a situation where you are involved with a narcissist and don't know how to get out of it, it's best to keep your distance. Now, I have some ideas that might help you get away from a narcissist. Remember, every situation is different and you may need to make some adjustments to this suggestion to make them work for you, especially if there are children involved. Firstly, you need to try to say less. It's impossible to confide in a narcissist, so don't tell them everything you know. Keep the conversation light and avoid discussing anything that might reveal your plans to leave. Narcissists may use the tactic of love bombing to remind you why you fell for them in the first place and try to keep you from leaving. Engaging in a conversation with a narcissist can be dangerous, so try to keep your distance. Secondly, Stop giving your narcissistic partner any kind of emotional support. This requires some planning and strategy, so you can't show genuine interest in them while having deep conversations with them. And number three, you need to start avoiding the narcissist's friends and family members. The narcissist may have slandered you to their friends who may not have a clear idea of who you really are. If you decide to leave the narcissist, they will not be there to support you. Narcissists may also have flying monkeys who will spread false information about you and even follow you around. So it's best to keep your distance from them as well. My fourth piece of advice for anyone considering leaving a narcissist is to gather as much evidence as possible regarding the narcissist's true nature and any secret deals they may be involved in. This knowledge is vital in case you end up in custody battle or divorce with them. It can make a significant difference in your case. You will need concrete evidence since the narcissist will do everything in their power to discredit you in court. The final piece of advice is particularly important for those who rely financially on a narcissist. To save money for your move, you should start looking for other sources of income and potentially make sacrifices right now. Keep this money hidden from the narcissist so they can't get their hands on it. Save as much of the narcissist's gift as possible. Narcissists use financial control to keep their victims in servitude and dependence on them. It is critical to establish a means of financial support that is independent of the narcissist. As a final piece of guidance, I would say stop attempting to bury the past. Narcissists can't be cured by being told they are one. Don't waste your time trying to understand their motivations for their words or actions. There is no need to demand an explanation or an apology. 
Every interaction with the narcissist is an opportunity for them to manipulate you into giving them what they want. They will shift the blame or use guilt to get what they want from you. Believe me, amazingly creative things can be done when people pretend to be sorry and promise to change in order to keep you around. An attempt to alleviate your suffering will be met with even greater retaliation. If you have decided to leave the narcissist, it's best to do it right away without trying to convince them otherwise. If you plan on quitting cold turkey, avoid letting the narcissist know where you will be staying or confiding in those who are friendly with them. When the time comes, just inform them that you have to leave. However, before we finalize everything, we need to make sure that ball is set up. You can also have your attorney to get in touch with them by leaving a message or letter explaining that you will be away. People can't be coerced into going against their own nature or self-interest. If you are considering divorcing a narcissist or you have joint property, it's advisable to seek the assistance of a lawyer. There are professionals who specialize in providing legal advice on how to navigate a divorce with a narcissist so you don't have to go through with it alone. When making arrangements to leave, never sign any agreements or contracts with the narcissist. They are known to resort to violence, engage in manipulative behavior, and say or do anything to discredit their targets. Therefore, it's essential to be prepared for anything when dealing with them. Well, these are just a few tactics I suggest for protecting yourself against the narcissist. Some people might find it easy to apply them while others may find it challenging. The experiences of others shouldn't dictate how you should live your life. I sincerely hope that you found this information helpful and in the space provided below. Feel free to share any additional tips you may have. Thank you for watching this video and please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your social networks. Have a great day.